He does really well. He brings a lot of creativity to the classroom. So as you saw, like from here, we have a lot of different hands-on things that I never really would have related to different subjects. Like for yeah, absolutely. I think that Ms. Tremick is really, really enthusiastic about science just in general. Like, mm -hmm. when you have a teacher who's out there and he knows what he's talking about and he's like enjoying himself and he's getting you like involved in like a positive energy, like he brings that to the classroom. And I know, like speaking for myself, like we can all just feel it. And he loves like it, he loves it. And he's so passionate about it that it kind of like rubs off on you and like you know it makes you okay. Because octane is such a large chain of carbons, it is 18 hydrogen. When the hydrogens of this octane meet another octane, uh, given that the electrons on the one are facing out and the other are facing out. Okay, so I just need a couple more of these functional groups, and they are called again what? We put a slide under the microscope, get a picture of it. We import that into SMART. I can annotate it. And then what we did here particularly was use this for actual measuring of a specimen so the kids get an idea. Um, well, once you've got it set up, it uh, takes about maybe five, ten minutes, if that. Um, and if you've got an iPhone and you've got all your settings hooked up, you can send it right to YouTube. YouTube actually has some video editing function, so if a kid has got a camera shake, it'll actually auto-correct for that. ten minutes. Uh, it took me about half an hour to an hour to really master that little skill, but once you've got that learning here, that's done. And I can show anyone how to do that within five minutes. Yes, go ahead. So the cool thing now is I'm showing this video for the kids, and it's not just a cool video. I can take this now, pause this frame, and we can draw in the magnesium atoms. We can draw in the hydrogen molecules as they're forming. Zoom in, zoom out, and in. Purple, okay. Purple, so strong. 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 Maybe one member of your group uh, is, 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 is in charge yeah. of purple. The other one's in charge of green. Yeah. The other one's in charge of blue. Where's my control? Yes. I didn't know there were Professionally, I think if you look at Ken Robinson's uh, talk on creativity and learning um, and how that dives off, uh, and it's these creative, uh, the kids' abilities to manipulate the molecules, and, you know, make movies in their minds and uh, play with the, the stuff, but we have to give them, um, you know, if we want kids to think out of the box, we have to build a box properly first. So I believe in good first principles, good formal training to a point, and then get them to uh, start to play with it. And then we can layer in the next level of complexity on top of that. Um, so I'm all about, you know, baby steps and building each brick.